Hey, what's up, guys? This is John from Magic Tech Review. Uh, so, I have the ZTZ Max. It's unrooted right now. 4.4.4. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys a quick um, tip on how to uh, temporarily root your uh, root your phone. So, I use this, like, let's say, right now I'm using Recordable. The app, right? It, um, it needs either root access or access to a PC USB um, thing. So, like... At home, I don't have a um, I don't have a PC to connect to, so basically, if my phone restarts, I'm screwed. Or if I have to power down my phone, or for any reason, then I'm screwed because I don't have a PC at home. So I need root access. So instead of what I do is I give myself temporary root, so then I have root whenever I need it. So and it doesn't really damage your phone, and it's temporary. Once you restart it, it the root goes away. So. This is uh, King Root, so I'm going to do a live rooting for you uh, right now. So basically, you just hit the, you download the program off the internet, off the, uh, you just go to Google Chrome on your phone, and then you go to King Root, and you download the program, and then it starts to root your phone. And it should, you know, it doesn't take too long. Um, it's pretty much a success rate, 100% so far for me. Um... By the way, this is the ZTE Z Max from Metro PCS, but um, I found that this can work on other phones as well. So you know, all you gotta do is just try it out. If it doesn't work, it just fails and it restarts your phone. It's not a big deal. So let's see here. So 26, 27 percent. So once it, it'll just go higher, and then it'll just um, basically your phone will be rooted. So uh, there's a lot of applications that need root. Uh, sometimes you don't want to do the full rooting and then you know you're stuck with the super user and then you know you can mess your phone up really really bad so this way is kind of like a safe kind of rooting it's like a un it's like a um, untethered rooting or tethered rooting I should say so I've found this to be very helpful for myself I don't know you know you guys might need the full root or whatever you want you know but just like I said you know I have certain apps that require root access and but I don't want to mess up my phone completely or brick it or do anything crazy so I just this is how I do it so hopefully this will show you guys um, I'm gonna show you that I have root after them this is done so stick around there we go root successful okay so basically and then it has uh, it has a couple of other apps in here that you know you might want to use um, so root authorization Root checker, allow, see it's allowing the recordable, so it just go, lets it go. So that's the app I'm using to actually record this with. Now I'm going to go to root checker. Okay. So this is going to check if you have root. It's not, it will not install root on your device. Okay. Accurate, okay. So there we go. So verify root. Root checker basic. Root pending authorization allow. Okay, congratulations. Root access is properly installed on this device. So, and um, basically, this allows you to do different things. Like, uh, I have, let me see here, I have MobiZen. And MobiZen also requires uh, root access. So, I don't know, this one takes a long, quite a little bit, a long time. So, so you hit allow. Boom, done. So now I can use MobiZen without having to actually um, without actually having to get my phone to a USB cord, plug it in, do all this other stuff with the computer. Um, it's just a quick way to get root real quick if you need it. So if you guys uh, like this app, let me know. If you you know if you like this this kind of thing, uh, let me know as well. Okay, guys. And this pretty much, I've used it on uh, quite a few phones in the Metro PCS family, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they'll all work, and it's pretty safe. And you know, if it just, if it fails, it just restarts your phone and try again. All right, guys. So this has been John from Magic Tech Review. Thank you for uh, watching and uh, supporting me, my son, and my channel. 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot. Thank you.